She is one of the best in Tar Heel history. Third all time in made threes. Chance for three, Deja Kelly. Charlotte, go at her. If you can find a way for Bailey to get a third foul, that changes the game completely for you. Busick off glass, and Charlotte now six for its last seven from the floor, and it's a one-point game. Get the bounce, watch the rebound. Here comes Carolina in transition. Nice catch and finish on your pool. Great. And Watts claims the rebound in transition now. Good luck. That's big connects. Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass in transition from Steph Watts. A no look. Yes, let's take another look at this Stephanie Watts pass. She saw Utsby earlier, but didn't look at her at all. Two minutes into our fourth quarter, Watts launches, and an answer again for Carolina. I'm going to tell you exactly how she feels. Inside, Busick. Outside, beautiful ball movement. Lenny from downtown. Charlotte grabs the lead. These squads right before conference play ensues. Skip pass, Watts off the high bounce, floats it in. Stephanie Watts getting them back in the game. That's what you expect from a senior. Patient finish at the rack by McMillan. It stayed in their 2-3, stayed in their principles, and made it tough for UNC to get the ball to their senior leader. To force something that's not there in transition. Open look from the corner, that's a three. Lost without Janelle Bailey on the floor. Six point win for the Tar Heels. Kelly, the first time all season. Carolina hasn't reached 90 points. It did not matter. What are your final thoughts from today?